Rooms carry a lot of information, such as the amount of square footage that's inside of that space, the finished material of the walls, the floors, the ceilings, information related to the room number and the room name. Let's go through the process of placing some rooms inside of our space. To do this, come underneath the Architecture tab, and then find Room on the ribbon. Select on the Room command, and then when you get inside of any of these rooms, you'll see the walls highlight right in those areas. What's going on is that the room will automatically expand out and take on the shape of whichever room that it's currently in. What I'd like to do in this case is put a tag in a room just right inside of this little box right here. And I'd like to do another one that takes up the big area. So click right there. Hit escape a couple of times to get out of the command. Now zoom in here to where we have room one. Ultimately, this is just gonna be an elevator pit or an elevator shaft. Realistically, we may or may not have to label this, but I do wanna call it something. So I'm gonna click on the tag, then click on the word room, and call it E-L-E-V, so it stands for elevator. Here we have our room two. Click on that tag, and now let's change this to be entry. I'm gonna leave it as being the number two, but if I had wanted to change that number, it would just be a matter of clicking on the tag, clicking on the number, and then typing in the information we'd want it to say. There's another way that we can go about doing this, and it's actually my favorite way to do it. You can either click out here in space or hit escape to make sure that you're out of the command. My favorite way is to come over here underneath schedules and quantities, and then double click where we have a room finish schedule set up. There'll be an option midway through here that says insert above the word rows. Insert in a data row. Do this three or four times. We can see we have ELEV, and that's the name of our first room. There's an entry level room here, and we can already see the square footage of each of those spaces. So the second that we were dropping these into the spaces, it was filling in the information on the room finish schedule. Now, the next thing I'd like to do, name this one here, and just call it Office. The fourth one, I'm going to call break for break room. This one is going to be men's. This one, women's. These are the restrooms. And this is going to be stair. For right now, I'm going to leave these numbers just the way that they are. And I'm just going to click in one of the cells just so that that ends up finishing off the stair command there. Now that each of these have been put in, come back to the architecture tab. Then come up here to the top on the project browser and double click where it says level one. Underneath the architecture tab, we now are gonna place another room. Before we click, I'm gonna point out something new. There's an option here that says room and new. Click that. Here we have a list of all those rooms that we just set up. As a result of this, we can click on three office and place it in the area where the office is at. We can click here, click where the break room is, Wait a second, if we try to place a break room in here, this is gonna give us a problem because I only want the break room to come into this area right here. Let's hit escape for right now and we'll come back and try to address this situation in just a minute. Select on five men's and then just put it in one of these restroom areas. I'm gonna click the X to that. The women's room, I'm gonna place it there. I'm going to hit escape a couple of times now to get out of that command. Now, we still have this room right here. Well, it's not actually a room because we haven't placed it yet, but we want it to be a room. To accomplish this, once again, underneath this room and area, there's an option up here that says Room Separator. If we select on Room Separator, pick this intersection, and then draw a line all the way across and click. Now, if you move your mouse around this area, one of the things you'll see is if you cross over any place there's an X, that indicates that's where the room is at. If I click on it to highlight it, we can see that that line that we drew, a room separator line, has now stopped this entry level room from going into this space. And as a result of that, we can once again come up here to the architecture tab, pick on the room command, and then pick break off of the list, and then place it right inside the break room area. And finally, pick steer off of the list, 
and click to make this be our stairwell area. So by going through this method, we were able to predefine all the different rooms and then place them in the correct locations. So there's two different ways to drop rooms in. The first way is just to come underneath architecture, select up here, and then tell it, I want a room here, 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 and here, just by clicking. The other way is to go into your room finish schedule, set up all those rooms in advance, then you can just pick them off of the list and then place them in order wherever you'd like to be able to place them.